everybody. Hi. 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 And I major in industrial design. And this is my second year in MCK. So guess what? Let's do something different today. Let's talk about myself. Okay. And first, I will take a brief introduction of my childhood. I lived in Taipei when I was young, and both of my parents worked for the government. And I live in a Christian family, so both of my parents and my grandparents are Christians too. But because of my parents' hard work, so <clears throat> uh, they didn't have much time to stay with me and my younger brother when I, when I was in childhood. So most of my time when before elementary school. I stayed at my grandparents' home. And just like what I said uh, before, my grandparents are Christians. But something cool, so, but something cool is that both of my grandparents are the founders of the churches in Taichung. So, um, so <clears throat> most of my child, I spent most of my childhood in church. So I heard lots, lots of stories about. Bibles and met met really many true friends there. Okay, and I entered an elementary school in Taipei, which is near Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall. And I entered a really strict private high school in when I was in my teenagers. Okay, and I'm going to say my story. <laughs> um, okay. So um, maybe maybe you guys see I'm um, not nervous or um, quite uh, outgoing and attend many activities. But I want to tell us that I wasn't a person like this standing here when I was in my teenagers. When I, when I was in my teenagers, the only thing I do is just keep studying. Repeating studying every day, studying books, getting hard tasks, and just the only friend I met is task book and graduate book. And every time I went to the library, I would think that many many students at my age, maybe they are joining some school clubs or um, joining many cool activities. They won't let their uh, uh, they they won't that their teenage become regret when they in the future and they look back at other teenagers. Yeah. And at that time I started to think that can I have those changes in my team in my high school life? Not just only studying and studying and studying. Yeah. Because um, when I'm in high school, sometimes we need some introduction when we enter new classes. Right. Because, um, and every time my introduction, I don't know, I don't know what I can say. Because I, I'm just like a bookworm, just keep studying on books and writing many tasks, and maybe have a good grade on these things. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe every time I have my introduction, it's just oh, I have a good grade and I have a high rank in school and blah 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 blah. blah. Nothing. Nothing else. You no. Know? And so. <laughs> Something astonished me when I was in the second year in my senior high school. A bird flew in the classroom when I was in when I was taking a Chinese class, and <clears throat> the whole class was was astonished by by that scene. And when I saw when I saw the bird, a thought just popped out in my mind like a light. I think that I could bird. Maybe, maybe it, it just accidentally flew into the classroom. But what, but what it see, what it heard, what it smell is brand new. Totally, the thing that he totally didn't see before. He just exposed something he cannot imagine and and he can really experience. And from then on, I told myself that 
I need to make some changes for my life. I need to step up the circle I'm standing right here and try something different. Let us study and want to do some more things that is different from others. I realized that my really interest is to make the world different, to spread my ideas, to change the world. So I majored in industrial design in NCK. And I realized that I cannot make my life, my everyday life the same. I need to make my, my everyday life different from others. I realized that I am the only one who can paint my, my life with splendid colors. Thank you for listening.